We covered off the Elemental 3.15 beta and the new taxonomy filter, but I want to highlight a few issues with it that I think are going to catch some people out. Over here, I have some WooCommerce products. I'm just going to go and type in filter and drop this in. I'm going to set this filter to be using Loop Grid 1. Um, and then over here, I'm now going to start to pick what is available. By the way, if this was a post, you would have had different items on it. In fact, let me just show you. Let me switch just to be posts instead. Let me now click over here and now you just have category and tags. If you've got a custom taxonomy that you've created with ACF, that would have been visible here. I'm going to flip this back over to products, go back to my filter, and you can now see what the items are available is a custom taxonomy I've created with ACF. I only did that because I wanted to check it was definitely working. And um, product color is one of my attributes for my WooCommerce product. The rest are what you would tend to get normally. So look, product type is just gonna say, let me put it on left align, simple and variable. But now I'm just gonna go with product category. And then I'm gonna duplicate and I'm gonna duplicate again. I'm now gonna go into the second one and instead I'm gonna go and pick the color. And then down here, I'm actually going to pick my custom taxonomy, which was available. So, so far, you're going to be looking at and going, well, that's pretty cool. You've got a nice list. Here are the limitations. And I do think they are big limitations. And I hope they get worked through. If I go and hit red, it's only going to show that bag. Brilliant. But if I now go and hit yes, it shows nothing. If I hit no, it brings back the red bag. Again, you're going to think, well, that's OK, isn't it? Not necessarily. Because it says the word yes, you might click it and you get a blank screen. And I'll tell you what, if I go to any shop filtering websites and that's how they work, where they don't filter out items that aren't present, that gets on my nerves. Let me just show you the settings again for this. I've already said do not show empty items for all of them, but it's still coming through. Now, there is a drawback to this. Don't be fooled. Let me show you. If I go in here, red again, so now we're back to the red bag, and I was to now go for backpack, it is visible. But I would go hit casual. Again, you get a blank screen. Ideally, what you want is the moment you hit red, okay, anything that is not um, applicable to the product, I would like to disappear. So casual and back rucksack should have gone. Uh, no, is it no? Yeah, no should have stayed and yes should have disappeared. Because what you don't have is multi directional or dimensional filtering going on here. And that is a major, major drawback. Because what if you've got like two filters going on here and I go and say, right, I want to look at holidays in Brazil. I click Brazil. And when I go, oh, I want to stay in a cabin or a tent and I click tent and then the screen goes blank. And then I go, well, which one was it? Oh, it was it that one I just picked or was it something else? It's not a great filtering system. And the other thing that I think it needs to be looked at is the styling. Right now, over here, I can go in and I can do some background styling for each of the buttons, whether you hover or active. I can give it a border. I can change the typography. I can do the text color. Brilliant. But what I, oh, and I can do mess around with the spacing as well. But what I can't do Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm rushing this, right? You can also make it vertical as well like that. And you can decide on the alignment for how it's going to be. Let's put it back to horizontal. But that's it. I cannot turn it into a drop down. I can't turn it into a checkbox. I can't have a radio button either or a multi select. At the moment, look, if I go and pick a casual, I can't go casual and rucksack. It's one at a time at the moment unless I'm missing something, but that's how it seems to look to me at the moment. Um, so I think there's a few things that do need to be looked at. If you are playing around with it, do put in the comments if you've discovered anything or am I not looking at it right? Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.